Kathiba Syntex is a textile vertical from fiber to fashion. We've been operational since 1997. Cotton comes to our plant and uh, we at Pratiba uh, starts from the spinning operations to knitting to dyeing and to garmenting. Pratiba is a completely export oriented company. The major customers we work with are CNA, Nike, Patagonia, Zara. We are hugely dependent on international brands. They are continuous having a pressure from e-commerce brand. The margins are reducing. India is kind of stuck between Bangladesh, China on one side uh, and now developing Vietnam as a very, very cost competitive manufacturing. So the perception is that we have to be extremely competitive being in Asia. So we had the massive fallout on deliveries before. We were faring at anywhere about 30 to 35 percent on our overall OTF. Some business had either moved out or, or some were even planning to move out. They were not confident about our performance. We used to sit with a set of orders in front of us and then uh, our customers yelling from different corners that uh, you know, this delivery is required. So we used to uh, prioritize based on our judgment, you know, which one I should go for. And then uh, we used to serve those customers. I have seen orders which were in the system for as long as six months. We just lost sight of those orders. Earlier, very huge air freights, penalties. Working capital was very stretched, over 200 days. Everywhere overdue interest was charged. Once you are lagging behind in every aspect, like paying to the bank, paying to our employees, paying our suppliers, definitely it will create a stress and pressures. All the executive, particularly on finance. We closed our books on negative pet. In the last seven, eight years, I would say the whole sustenance of the business itself has been a challenge for us. We were having three verticals, yarn, fabric and garments. And all teams were selling their goods into the market and all were competing each other. They were having their own standalone planning. And they were all trying to make more profit within the departments. So they were more focused on the local efficiencies. So garmenting is something which is like the biggest chunk uh, which we want to grow upon. So that's the final customers we uh, want to serve. One thing which personally was very, very challenging for me to implement was uh, stopping the sales of fabrics. The visibility of the orders were limited to maybe 35 or 40 days for each of the departments. Because they had a visibility for only that many orders which are uh, scheduled for the next 30 or 40 days, there was no opportunity for them to steal or misuse their uh, capacities for other orders which were scheduled for a much later date. Because this capacity stealing stopped, the order closure rate improved, the WIPs went down. The garment has different, different components. One component we have delivered time pe kar diya, one component we have late for one month. So, who has delivered it, that component is of useless. So, all in a kit, in a basket, we are going to complete the thing. Which is going to happen, which was not before. So, just seeing what is the overall cycle time and having a common buffer pre-production and post-production from fabric onwards kind of just crashed the lead time and we've now working at almost half of what we used to do three years ago. And from central planning, in the flow meetings, we are ensuring on a day-to-day -day basis that the color uh, priorities are not being violated. So that discipline took some time because old habits die hard, but eventually now all the departments by default know that, okay, this is the priority. We realize customer are unnecessarily stocking a lot of products with them which they would need it later and they would block their money. We developed a model with our customer so that we are able to build a never out of stock situations and whenever they would need, we could ship in two weeks time. That quadrupled our business on that particular segment of the business within implementation six months. But after, you know, we implemented the system and we understood the need of uh, the retail business, the market, uh, we have been able to consistently deliver to our customers like Zara, uh, Inditex, uh, in 35 days or even less sometimes. In our old days, we would not have been able to even imagine that uh, we can deliver from concept to delivery in 35 days. We realized that the current sales structure wasn't working job role for our salespeople was end-to-end -end ownership and they would actually end up spending much more time 
looking and tracking at the orders and carrying out the order management there is an order management team which has been created once the marketing person gets the order he hands it over to the order management team and then he can focus on the main job of getting more orders the sales and marketing team is totally free from following up on a day to day basis on what is happening to their orders kuch aisi problem rehti thi jiska humko pata hai ki ye problem hai day to day hum face kar rahe hain lekin because of lack of time hum usko address nahi kar pate the to un problem ko humne focus karna shuru kiya and un problem ko one by one solve karna shuru kiya within 2 months our otf improved to mid 90s last year we won uh, the best global supplier award from our biggest customer cnda and that was really a proud moment standing amongst suppliers from all over the world and getting that kind of an award four years back garment turnover was like 263 crores that has become 580 crores today so 30% cagr growth is already there we used to have 140 crores raw material stocks in the company and today we are managing with 80 crores our total working capital was 750 crores and today it is uh, below 500 crores 360 crores utilization in working capital has dropped to 210 crores today earlier we were having 60 days payment terms with uh, our suppliers now we are reduced to 15 days you see when your output has increased by 40% and our lead times are going down costs are going uh, down so it has uh, helped us to improve our ebitda which is almost improved by uh, 58% so i think pratibha would be in a unique position to offer design uh, quick response and sustainability compared to anybody else it's a combination of all of the, uh, the three that we can really offer and uh, the same i think is the need for the nation also